Somebody sing this. Praise the name above all names. The one who reigns forever. Still the same. Praise the name. Jesus. A name above all names. The one who reigns forever. Still the same. Praise the name. No other name that's higher. No other name that's stronger. No other name forever. I will praise the name. No other name can heal us. No other name can free us. No other name. Let's praise the name. Praise the name above all names, the one who reigns forever. Still the same, and praise the name Jesus, name above all names, the one who reigns forever. Still the same, and praise the name. Everybody, no other name that's higher. together as loud as you can. Every nation, all creation, we proclaim your name. Every nation, all creation, we proclaim your name. Jesus, 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 no sweeter name, Jesus, Jesus, yeah, yeah, Jesus, no sweeter name. It's so precious. Jesus, we thank you. We praise your holy name. Your mighty name. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Why don't you put your hands together with us right now? Let's just enter into that special place in the Lord tonight. 
Let's enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Let's enter into his courts with praise. Let's enter into that special place that the Lord has made for his people. Come on, while we are here upon this earth, the Lord has a special place that we can enter into and we can be able to experience the glory of the Lord. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to welcome everyone. Thank you for joining with us here, the Pentecostal Church of Atascacita. Thank you for worshiping with us. Would like to ask you, if you will, to go to that share button on your cell phone or on your computer or whatever it might be there that you're on. If you're on the Facebook Live, go and click share. We want everybody to have an opportunity Amen. To be a part of what the Lord is doing. Hallelujah. And again, I just want to say thank you for joining with us via live stream. And we just pray that every one of you feel the presence of the Lord tonight. That you're encouraged. That you are uplifted. There's only one that can truly lift you up midst of all the things that you face and everything that you're going through and that is our Lord Jesus Christ he's the uplifter and he is with you he's with us tonight amen we're going to put the needs before you we would like to bring our needs and ask you if you would bind with us pray for those that you see there in front of you I know that there are many people that you know many names that you know people in your life and your your environment that needs prayer so let's bind together right now and let's pray not only for us but let's pray for those in other nations around the world let's go together to the Lord God we love you and praise you and we thank you tonight Lord as we bind together in one mind in one accord as we come together in that special place Lord we bring our needs before you we pray Lord for Eli Hernandez God he needs a miracle that man needs a miracle I pray Lord that there would be a divine intervention right now we'll come into that hospital room we'll come unto him Lord in that situation he's in and on that ventilator and his body's fighting, struggling for life. I pray in the name of Jesus with the body, with the church body, with his family. Lord, we pray that life, life, life would come unto him. We pray in the name of Jesus. We speak, we speak healing. We speak the miracle of God. Lord, on every need, in every situation, Lord God, all of these names that are before us, I pray in Jesus' name that you would give them the comfort they need, the peace that they need. Lord, there are people, there are many people that are without jobs. There are many people that have been furloughed. And I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that there would be a miraculous divine intervention. For we are your children, Lord. We look to you. We depend upon you, Lord God. We want to follow you, Lord God. And we know that you're our help, that you're our strength. And I pray tonight, Lord, there are many people that... They want to know you. They want to experience you in a greater way than they have before. And I pray in the name of Jesus that they will experience you, Lord God. Hallelujah. I praise your holy and mighty name. Oh, come on, worship the Lord with me. Let's put everything else aside. Come on, put everything else out of your mind. Get everything else aside. And let's just enter into that place of worship and praise together right now. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice. Open up your mouth. Begin to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. We worship you. We bless the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we claim deliverance. We claim healing. We speak deliverance, Lord God from 
COVID-19. We claim deliverance from it. We speak it in the name of Jesus. Healing and power that we overcome. That our bodies will be strengthened, Lord God. That our immune systems will be strengthened in you. In Jesus' mighty and holy name. Praise God. Amen. This is a time that we want to set aside for you to have an opportunity to give unto the Lord as the scripture says, as the word of the Lord says. You will see in front of you three ways of giving through the cell phone. You can download the app Secure Give and give through that. Or you can go to our website. You see the website there in front of you. Or you can mail to our address or even bring by an envelope and just put it in the mailbox if you just bring it by and put it in the mailbox you don't have to put address and anything like that there's nobody that will be taking it out except us so i want to give you an opportunity to give this is a time to stand firmly upon the word of god if you've ever walked by faith this is the time to do it maybe in the past you've just kind of you know just giving here and there and you've asked questions and people tell you just give whatever you feel but that's not scripture it's not the word of god we are to give of our tithe a tithe means a tenth a tenth and then we have uh, that the offering the lord requires that we give an offering and that's the sacrifice above the tenth the tenth just belongs to the lord we can't give to the lord that which is already his So that tenth is set aside, amen, as a tithe. And so we give you an opportunity right now, amen, to step out, amen, in obedience and in faith, in the word of the Lord. And we look to him to carry us and guide us. So we're giving you an opportunity. We're going to play music just for a little bit. So go there to the places of giving on your computer or on your phone or iPad or whatever. Amen. God bless you as you give in Jesus' name. If you've been walking the same old road for miles and miles, if you've been hearing the same old voice tell the same old lies, if you're trying to feel the same old who's inside, there's a better life. There's a better life. If you've got pain, he's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you feel freedom, a saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you've got chains, he's a chain breaker. We've all searched for the light of day in the dead of night We've all found ourselves worn out by the same old fire We've all run to things we know just ain't right There's a better life There's a better life You see it If you've got pain He's a pain taker if you feel lost, he's a way maker. Hallelujah. If you need freedom, a saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. Oh, yeah. If you believe it, if you receive it, you can feel it. Somebody testify. Come on, sing that with me. Come on, if you believe it. If you believe it. Oh, receive it. If you receive it. You can feel it. If you can feel it. Come on, somebody, somebody testify. 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 Testify with your praise. If you believe Hallelujah, it. Hallelujah, where the Spirit of the Lord is. If there you there. receive it. Where the Spirit of the Lord is. If you can feel it. it. Somebody testify oh, 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 If you got oh, pain thank you, Lord Jesus. He's a Lord pain healing. taker My body If you feel Lord Thank you Lord God He's a way maker 
setting me free. If you need freedom, thank you, Lord, for that resurrection power. It's a prison of shame. Thank you for the blood that was shed. We may have. He's a chain breaker. Come on, one last time. We may be overcome. You got pain. In the name of Jesus. He's a pain taker. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom, a saving is a prison of shaking. Hallelujah. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. Hallelujah. Praise God. Aren't you glad that you know the chain breaker? Aren't you glad that you know him? That you have a relationship with him? And aren't you glad that in the midst of all of the chaos and confusion, that we have a place in God? We have a place of refuge. We have a strong tower. His name is Jesus. And the righteous can run into, and there they find safety. We can dwell under the shadow of the Almighty God, that special place, that secret place in the Lord. Amen. Again, if you have joined us, maybe you've just now come on the live stream, we want to welcome you to the Pentecostal Church of Atascacita. Thank you for joining us live stream. And we ask everyone, please click the share button. If you are watching Facebook live, click the share button. All of your friends and people that may see your thread, they will see that and be able to join in and be a part of it. And they will receive a blessing from the Lord tonight. I've got some good news. And that is we have baptized Jason Choice this last Sunday. Praise God. Another one has stepped forward and said, I want to be baptized in the name of Jesus. And they have that opportunity to baptize Jason. We rejoice with Jason. And Jason, if you are watching this live tonight, we rejoice with you. What a great, great experience. Amen. To be able to experience and be in the presence of the Lord with you and have that opportunity to baptize you last Sunday. And also Carol Nades, she had received the Holy Ghost Sunday. She had contacted us weeping, rejoicing, telling us right there in her home she had received the Holy Ghost. And I say praise God. Why don't we rejoice right now with them? Come on. Amen. If you only really understood what this means, how beautiful the experience is and what the Lord is doing. He said, we must be born again to enter into the kingdom of heaven. He tells us it's being born of the water and of the spirit, the apostles, the disciples. They preached the message of salvation in the New Testament, and that is be baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of your sin and receive the Holy Ghost with that initial evidence, speaking in other tongues, as you read in the book of Acts. If you've not been baptized in Jesus' name, then I encourage you to be baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. And if you would like for us to baptize you, please send a message on Facebook or send us a message via email on our website. Go over to the contact side. And, but let us know I would love to baptize you in Jesus' name. And if you've never received the Holy Ghost, it is for you. Just like the book of Acts, exactly the way they received it, you will receive it and you will begin to speak in a heavenly language as the Spirit of God gives you that liberty to do so. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And I just rejoice and praise God with all of the people all over the nation, all over the world. Amen. They are receiving truth and they are being baptized in Jesus' name. I'm not asking you just to be baptized, but to be baptized in Jesus' name. That is the name, which is singular. 
the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. There are titles, but there's one name, and that name is Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, why don't we just praise the Lord? Before we go into the word of the Lord, so would you put your hands together right now, gather with your family, your spouse, or wherever you are, and let's just enter into that special place. Prepare your heart for the word of the Lord. May the word of God bring the miraculous into your spirit. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we praise you, we worship you, we exalt you. This evening, Lord God, we are open, Lord, to receive. We ask you, Lord God, to come in. We know that you are knocking at our heart's door and we open our door gladly Lord to receive whatever you have for us we receive it will you say that with me we receive it tonight we receive we receive everything that the Lord has for us in the name of Jesus praise God if you'll turn with me Amen. In the Word of God to 2 Kings chapter 4. And I'm going to begin reading verse 17. It's going to be a, a lengthy reading. So I'm going to give you a chance if you're holding Bible. Amen. To turn there. You'll see the scripture in front of you. In case you don't have a Bible there with you. And we will be reading this together. 2 Kings chapter 4 and verse 17. And again. Thank you for joining with us tonight. Amen. And the woman conceived and bare a son at that season that Elisha had said unto her, according to the time of life. And when the child was grown, it fell on a day that he went out to his fathers, to the reapers. He went outside. He was there with them while they were laboring. And he said unto his father, my head, my head. And he said to a lad, carry him to his mother. And when he had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on her knees until noon. And then he died. And she went, she laid him on the bed of the man of God and shut the door upon him and went out. In other words, there was a special room they had set aside for the prophet whenever he would come by and he had a place to stay. But she laid him upon that bed and she called unto her husband and she said, send me, I pray thee, one of the young men and one of the donkeys that I may run to the man of God and I'm going to come back. And he said, Wherefore wilt thou go to him today? It is neither new moon nor Sabbath. And she said, it'll, it'll be okay. Then she saddled the donkey and said to her servant, Drive and go forward and slack not your riding for me unless I bid thee. In other words, take off. Let's take off as fast as we can. Don't slow down. Give it everything you got. And so she went and came unto the man of God to Mount Caramel. And it came to pass when the man of God saw her afar off. He said to Gehazi, his servant, he said, Yonder is that Shunammite. Run now, I pray thee, and meet her. And say unto her, in other words, ask these questions. Is it well with you? Is it well with your husband? Is it well with your child? And she answered, it is well. Hallelujah. And I'm going to preach what the Lord has laid upon my heart for somebody tonight with this title, Give Your Good Report. Give Your Good Report. Let's ask the Lord to speak to us one more time. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. 
God, I pray tonight in the middle of this dilemma, in the middle of bad news, in the middle of this time of darkness, death, and all of the bad things that are happening, I pray that your word will raise somebody else up. They will receive a strength, a healing, the miraculous divine intervention that comes from the Almighty God. Speak to us, we pray in Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you so much for standing. Those of you that, that you're used to standing in honoring of the reading of the Word of the Lord. Many years ago, I read an interesting article and it was written from a medical doctor. One morning, as he was eating breakfast with one of Korea's leading neurosurgeons, he was telling him about the various medical findings on the operation of the brain. What he has, what he has found. And the doctor said these words, speaking to this other doctor. He said, Dr. Cho, did you know that the speech center in the brain, it rules over all of the nerves? The speech center in the brain rules over all the nerves. According to our recent findings in neurology, the speech center in the brain has total dominion over all the other nerves. He said that the speech nerve center had such power over the body that simply speaking can give one control over his body and manipulate it in the way that he wishes. He said, if somebody continues saying, I'm going to become weak, right away, all of the nerves receive this message. And they began responding, saying, let's become weak. We have received instructions from the central command center, from the central communication center, that we should become weak. And then they adjust their physical attitudes to weakness. The medical studies prove there is power in the spoken word. It proves there is power in the spoken word over the body's nervous system. And that is how powerful speaking is. Rather, a person believes in God or doesn't believe in God. It doesn't matter. God has still put something within a human being that is very, very, very powerful. Just think how powerful our speech is when we speak with faith in God. When we speak with faith in God's Word. When we speak in alignment and in unity, in sync with God's Word. Just think how powerful our speech is when speaking our Word in alignment in God's Word. United with it. In Micah, the prophet, he is making himself one with the people whenever you begin studying and you go in depth and you begin studying to understand what you are reading. He is making himself one with them in their fallen condition. They're ensnared by the enemy, Babylon and Edom. And when you read about it in the book of Psalms. You, you, you will find the connection there. 
what he's relating to. But Micah 7 and 8, he's saying, Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. When I fall, I shall arise. You need to give yourself a good report. You need to say, I shall arise. If you feel down, give yourself a good report. Speak it with your own communication system. Speak it. Speak the words. Say, I shall arise. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't go by what you are feeling. Don't go by what is around you, uh, what your surrounding environment is, uh, what you are seeing, uh, what you are hearing. uh, But you speak the Word. You align with God in faith in His Word and say, I shall arise. Come on, somebody say that with me right now. I shall arise. Say it to your family. Come on. I shall arise. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Come on. You need to speak your good report. You need to give your good report. The psalmist David, as well known as he is, he is well known for speaking good reports in faith. And David... He was the one that God chose that's going to take Goliath out that had everybody else in a place to where they had fear inside of them. But God chose this man. This man we call David. We call him the psalmist David. Also King David. God's choice for a king. But David is well known for speaking good report. In faith, in the midst of the darkness, in the midst of death. That's why whatever Goliath said didn't move David. David just came back and said, "Uh, that's not going to happen that way. Let me tell you the way it's going to happen. I'm going to come at you in the name of the Lord of hosts. Uh, Your sticks and all of your weapons are not going to work against me. David would speak the report of the positive in the faith in the word of God. But listen to this scripture. This is one of the scriptures, Psalms 118 and 7, uh, where David is saying, I'm not going to die. I shall not die, but live. And I declare the works of the Lord. In a time of feeling that he was in great danger, in a time of feeling that he was about to die, he is speaking and saying, I shall not die, but I will live. This is how David encouraged himself in the Lord. He spoke the good news. He spoke the good report. He spoke against everything that he was feeling. The Apostle Paul, he in the New Testament, the Apostle Paul is reaching back in reference to David. And in David, given good reports in the midst of the bad that was around him. And here's what he said. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and bring these words first, and then we'll read it in Scripture. But here's what he said. We have that same spirit of faith. Hallelujah. 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 We have that same spirit of faith. Now let's read the scripture. New Testament. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 13. We have the same spirit of faith. According as it is written. And here's where the apostle is connecting back to the scripture. I believed... And therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. 
The Apostle Paul is reaching back to a scripture that I'm going to read and show you where he is connecting to it. And then he says, we also. Hallelujah. Come on, say that with me. We also. Say that to your family. Say that to your spouse. Say that to your friend. Somebody there with you. Maybe you're having a a gathering together and there's other people that are worshiping with you. And God bless you for that. Hallelujah. But say this. We also believe. And speak. Because as written, it was written where they said, I believe, therefore have I spoken. We have the same spirit of faith. Now look at the scripture that he's connecting back to in Psalms 116 verse 10. I believed, therefore have I spoken. I was greatly afflicted. I was greatly afflicted, but I believed, and therefore have I spoken. David was talking about believing and speaking. The Lord told me to tell somebody tonight, we have the same spirit of faith. Come on. That's what the Apostle Paul's telling us right now. We have the same spirit of faith. I know you have a Goliath you're dealing with. I know right now, amen, that some of you have received bad report, bad news, the meltdown financial problems, problems with your health, the problems that are going on. They are very real. You see it, you hear it, you feel it. That is the environment that you are dealing with at this very moment. But God told me to tell somebody that will hear. Hallelujah. We believe. Hallelujah. And we can speak. Hallelujah. Because we have the same spirit of faith. That same spirit. Spirit of faith, that same spirit of faith uh, that brought David through everything that he went through uh, and overcame it, uh, including the 15 years of King Saul trying to kill him. Uh, Hallelujah. David believed and David would speak, I'm not going to die. I'm going to live. I'm going to live. I'm going to live. Satan, you don't have a weapon uh, that will prosper against me. I'm standing on the Word of God. I've got the same faith. I've got the same spirit of faith. And therefore I believe and I open my mouth and I speak. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, let's just sit in this for a minute. Hallelujah. Those those bites of food that taste really good. You know, you don't want to do like a dog and just suck the thing down without chewing on it. Hallelujah. When it's really good, you want to just chew on it. You want to receive that, the goodness in it. You want, to, you want to enjoy the flavor in it. and You need to chew on this a little bit. You need to meditate upon this a little bit. You need to write this down somewhere. Write down that scripture. We have the same spirit of faith. It is written, I believed and therefore I have spoken. And we also believe and therefore we speak. Oh, praise God. Amen. There's a song that we sing. I I don't know if... Uh, it's anywhere out there in a the hymnal book or whatever. I, I have no idea on all of that. But it says, whose report do you believe? And it's kind of got that David twist in the, the way the music is played and, and, and the, the minor cards. And, and uh, whose report do you believe? I shall believe the report of the Lord. Whose report Shall you believe? I shall believe the report of the Lord. 
His report says, I am healed. His report says, I am filled. His report says, I am free. His report says, victory. Now, some of y'all right now in the privacy of your home, you need to get you one of them Jewish dancers going. Just get you a little bit of a, a, a rejoicing little dance going. Nobody there but your family and your children. Hallelujah. Maybe you want to join hands and just start going around in a circle. Hallelujah. Why don't we sing this again right now? Come on. Hallelujah. We're doing things God's way. Amen. All this other stuff's the world's way, but this is God's way. We're doing stuff God's way. We're, we're getting on this rock, and we're using every, every weapon we have, and we're standing on the Word of God. Whose report will you believe? I shall believe the report of the Lord. Whose report shall you believe? I shall believe the report of the Lord. His report says, I am healed. His report says, I am filled. His report says, I am free. His report says, victory. Whose report will you believe? I shall believe the report of the Lord. Whose report shall you believe? I shall believe the report of the Lord. His report says I am healed. His report says I am filled. His report says I am free. His report says victory. Come on, rejoice in it. Come on, rejoice in it. Hallelujah. Come on, don't just be hearing it. Speak it. Don't just be hearing the Word of God. Speak it. Hallelujah. Don't just hear it. Speak it. Come on. Let it get into that communication system that starts flowing down through the nerves of your body. May that command center coming from your head. Uh, hallelujah. Speak it. Speak it. Let me tell you what the report of the Lord is. Let me, let me tell you what God's Word says. Uh, let me tell you there's healing uh, that comes from Him. Uh, there's deliverance. Uh, there's provision. God is going to make a way. We are well able to overcome. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Whose report are you going to believe? Whose report are you going to believe? Praise God. When I first was hearing about this coronavirus stuff, I didn't know exactly what all, like everybody else, we really didn't know. You know, we were taking it one step at a time and receiving a news report. And when I first started hearing about it, I thought, you know, my driver's license expires April the 22nd. And I better go ahead and go get my license renewed. And so... I got the car and I drove here to Humble, just want to see how long the line was there. And when I got there, their computer system was broke down. And I didn't want to sit out there all day like a lot of those folks were in that line because they didn't want to give up their spot and that computer start working again, which it didn't. And so I left and I said, well, I'm going to drive somewhere away. I'm going to go to Liberty but I did some research and found out, you know, the whole system's down. So there's no use in going anywhere. I waited till the next day. And then the next day, I, I jumped in my little car and I said, I'm going to enjoy a day. I'm going to let the convertible top down and I'm going to drive to Liberty. And I drove all the way out to Liberty, Texas. And I got there and getting ready to get my license renewed. And when I walked in there, they began to ask me, do you have your birth certificate? 
Well, I've never had to have a birth certificate to get my driver's license renewed. And they said, well, do you have your passport? Well, I've never had to bring the passport. And I didn't think to read up on it. Maybe there's new stuff. Uh, all I got is my driver's license. And, you know, I've, I've got my Social Security card. And, but no, that's not that. We, we need your birth certificate. And, well, I left out of there with my head hanging down. Make a long story short. I still haven't got a renewed driver's license, but we've got a little grace period going on here in the midst of all of this. And I'm on my way coming back. And that's where the Lord gave me this message a long time back. Before this, before I even knew what what was going on and all the stuff that was going to come with it, it was just way back at the very beginning of everything. And on my way coming back, I promise you, while I was just singing and worshiping the Lord and enjoying myself and just filling that air outside, riding that little convertible car, the Lord began to speak to me. And I'm telling you, he said, you say, it is well. It is well. And I just began saying it as well, and I began rejoicing and worshiping the Lord, not, not knowing anything that was really coming, not knowing, you know, all of the stuff that we know now, and got back to the house, and that, that just seemed to be burning inside of my spirit. And I don't know, sometime after that, my wife and I, we went online, I don't know, I think we sang a few songs, and I just touched it just for a minute because that's what was burning in, in my spirit, that it is well but tonight I feel like the Lord told me this is when you need to proclaim it you need to speak it speak what I put into you before this thing began you speak it get the people to speak it he clearly impressed on me to broadcast this these words it is well And told me to tell you to proclaim that. Broadcast that. You speak it. I don't care what you are feeling. I don't care what news you have just received. I don't care how big that mountain looks before you right now. You may feel like you can't find your way out of this thing. I don't know what you are feeling or what you're experiencing or how troubled you are by the Goliath that is intimidating you. But I want to tell you right now, you activate your speech system of the faith in the Word of God and say it is well it is well it is well hallelujah amen he brought me to to this to the scripture about the the Shunammite woman amen that that I read in the old testament where she is saying it is well and everything around her was very real She felt her son. She felt his body and the the fever and the condition of what he was experiencing and how it was affecting him. She was holding her son in her arms. And while she was holding her son, experiencing him uh, as he was saying how bad his head is hurting and how weak he's getting and how bad he's feeling and all of this. And then she feels his body go limp in her hands. Uh, After holding his lifeless body, she She carries it and lays it down in the bed and tells her servant, go get my donkey and saddle it up. We're going to go find the man of God. And in 2 Kings 4 and 25, and she went and came to the man of God to Mount Carmel. And it came to pass when the man of God saw her, he said unto Gehazi, his servant, Look, yonder is the Shunammite, meaning that that Shunammite woman. He said, now go to her. Run to her and ask her the question. Is it well with you? Is it well with your husband? Is it well with your child? And she said, 
It is well. And because of her faith report, because of her good report, while bad was clearly there, while death was laying on her bed, she seen her report come alive. It became well. It became well. She spoke it while everything else said otherwise. But it became well. Not only was her son raised back to life, but later when she had dealt with all of the famine that she could deal with, she had done everything she could to survive the famine that was in the land. A story was being told to the king. Now listen to this. It was happening while this lady was going to the king to beg for food. The time of famine. She's going to the king and she's going to beg for food. They don't have anything. They don't have any food and going to just seek the mercy of the king. And I'm going to tell you before I read the scripture, she received favor and she received the blessing as it continued. As it continued. Because she was a person that knew how to say it is well. In the midst of whatever's going on. And whatever's happening. Let's read this together. This is the last that you read about the Shunammite woman. 2 Kings chapter 8 verse 3. And it came to pass at the seven years end. That the woman returned out of the land of the Philistines. She went forth to cry unto the king for her house and her property. And the king talked with Gehazi, the servant of the man of God. Now listen, you've got to understand, there's a communication going on. It just so happened to be while she's coming, this servant, Gehazi, happened to be telling the king about this story, about a lady. And how she came saying it as well. And she ended up getting a miracle and her son living again. Verse 4. And the king talked with Gehazi, the servant of the man of God. And he said, tell me, I pray thee, all the great things that Elisha has done. And it came to pass as he was telling the king how he had restored a dead body to life. Behold. Let me put it in our words. All of a sudden, suddenly, the woman whose son he had restored to life cried to the king for her house and her land. And Gehazi said, Oh, king, this is that lady. This is her son who Elisha restored to life. And when the king asked the woman, she told him. And the king appointed unto her a certain officer, saying, Give her everything that is hers, all of the fruit of the field since the day she left the land until even now. Just just go travel all the way back. So she started experiencing hardship and she started experiencing all of the stuff. Now, let's give her everything that she should get back. Why? Because she was a woman that before everything, how bad things were, she said, it is well. It is well. Come on. The question was asked her, asking her from this man of God's servant, is it okay? How's your husband? It's well. How are you? It's well. How's your son? It's well. Hallelujah. We see in the Word of God her report. We see the report 
of the Lord. We see the miraculous of the Word of God. Why is this put in Scripture? It's put here for a reason. So you and I will understand there were some words here. It is well. And because she spoke it in the in everything being like it was around her, it did become well. And it continued to be well in the midst of the death and in the midst of the famine. It continued to be well. Hallelujah. Join me tonight. Join me in faith. Come on, in faith, in alignment in God's Word, in alignment with God's Word. Join me, proclaim a good report in the midst of your sickness, in the midst of your pain. It is well in the midst of of your financial meltdown. It is well in the midst of the world in turmoil. It is well. Come on. We have the same spirit. We have the same spirit of faith. We have the same spirit of faith. It is well. I know who I am. I am a child of the Most High God. I know the words of which I live by. I can't live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds from the mouth of God God and it says to for me to proclaim with that same spirit of faith we believe therefore we speak it is well Oh, how that other rabbi Come on, somebody. Amen. You need to do yourself a good dance. Hallelujah. Do you a dance of a good report of the good news. It's come from the higher up. It's come from the central command station. It's come to your head. Now you get in alignment with that headship and you speak it. It is well. Mm. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, I can see it in my faith and my imagination. Somebody's doing them a dance in joy right now. The joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Praise God, praise God. According to God's word, there are two things that a child of God can mix together and they become very powerful faith and God's word and your word your speech the connecting they become one instead of crying out about how bad things are you need to proclaim what the Shunammite woman proclaimed It is well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know what God's word? Come on, I'm not not doing anything in my stuff or in all of the stuff you can go down to the library and positive speaking. This is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about in God's word. Faith in God. All right? I want you to see things. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to show you the connections in the Word of God. And we have the same spirit of faith to speak this. And we believe and we, we speak. Do you know what God's Word calls a negative report? I'm going to read it to you as you know I'm going to. What God's Word calls a negative report or a report that is lacking 
in faith. Let me tell you what he calls it. Evil. Evil. Let's read it. I'm going to take you back to the Old Testament. The Twelve spies. God said, let's send the twelve into the promised land. They're going to spy out the land. They're going to come back with a report. They're ready to go into the promised land. Where God prepared. He prepared this for them. It don't matter how many giants is there and how big the walls are and all that. God said, this belongs to y'all. This belongs to my people. So they, they're following God. They've come out of Egypt. God's worked the miracles. And now, now the spies, the 12, selected 12 men to go in and just spy it out. Go in and check it out. Come give everybody a report about this promised land. Ten out of 12 men, 10 out of 12 that went and spied the land, they all seen the same things. Ten came with a negative report. Two came with the positive report. Let's read it. Numbers 13 and 30. And Caleb, he was one of the two, Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome. Hallelujah. Oh, he's seen the giants. He's seen the big walls. He's seen the weaponry. He's seen everything that all the others seen. He's saying, Let's do it, man. Right now. Come on. That's the promise of God. That's what God said belongs to us. Let's go right now and let's take it. Let's go destroy every enemy. We're going to, every wall is going to fall down. We're going to see the hand of God move. Let's go do it. We're well able. Let's do it right now. Look at the next. But the men that went with him, we're not able. Get this. Speaking. We are not able. If you're saying you're not able, then you're not going to. We are not able to go up against the people. They are stronger than we are. And they brought an evil report. They were working in favor of the enemy. We have a report that says we can't do this. And they brought an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel. Saying the land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eats up the inhabitants thereof. And all the people we saw in it, they are men of great stature. And there we saw giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight like grasshoppers. They're speaking the evil report. An evil report. But look what happened to the ten that gave the evil report. The ten... That gave the negative report. Look what happened. And then versus what happened to the two that gave the good report. Read it with me. Numbers 14, 37. Even those men that did bring the evil report died by the plague before the Lord. I'm going to read this again. Those men, those ten that brought the evil report died by the plague before the Lord. But Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Jephna, which were of the men that went to search the land, they lived still. I don't know if you're getting this, but what they're saying is they're continuing. 
They're still continuing. They spoke the good report. They said we're well able. While all the majority is saying we're not. All that majority had to go die in the wilderness. Every one of them. Every one of them. And all the people that were following their report. Went to die with them. And they died by the plague before the Lord. But those that said we are well able lived still. Spoken words affects our future. Spoken words affects our families. Spoken words affect our happiness. It affects our health. I'm going to tell you right now. Spoken words are like bits that you put in the horse's mouth and you lead that horse in the direction that you want it to go. The Bible says they are like rudders that drive the big ships. James 3 and 3, we put bits in the horses' mouths that they may obey us. And we turn their whole body, these massive animals, we, we lead them, we control, we go where we want to go. Also, ships, though they be so great, they're driven by fierce winds, yet they are turned by a small helm where the governor listeth. Even so, the tongue, it's a little member. But friend, it can speak great things. And how great a matter a little fire kindleth. Hallelujah. Amen. You got you, that seed of faith that the Bible talks about, that, that mustard seed faith. It, hallelujah. It may be small like a mustard seed, but it is a very powerful thing. It has worked for the children of God throughout the ages, uh, and it's going to work for us. Uh, hallelujah. We're in this final stretch, friend. We are in the final stretch. We are experiencing stuff we've never experienced before. Uh, we are seeing uh, what this famine in the land thing can be. Uh, we are experiencing experience um, how death can go throughout the land and all of the lockdown and all of the shutting things down and the economy's beginning to crash and crater all of these things but yet we the children of the living God can rise up however many there are of us uh, against whatever the report is of all of those other people out there and what they're saying and I'm saying we're well able we're going to overcome this uh, it is well it is well uh, is it well with your husband it is well is it well with your wife it is well is it well with your sons it is well is it well with your daughter it is well is it well with your finances it is well is it well with your health it is well come on somebody hallelujah if we're gonna live we're gonna do it God's way we've got that same spirit of faith Give your good report. Give your good report. It is well. I'll live and I'm not going to die. I shall arise. It is well. We are well able to overcome. Hallelujah. The musicians are coming. I don't care what kind of storms, amen, that we, we are listening to and the winds and the noise and the, all of the stuff and how all these people with 24,000 degrees and however high they are and their, their, their political ladders and all of the stuff and what system they're connected with, even if they are connected with that antichrist system and trying to bring together their one world government and their one world system and all of the corrupt stuff that's going to be involved in all of that and how powerful that all may look and sound. I'm going to tell you, I've got a God that told me this was coming and he's saying it is well. That's what he's saying. Uh, hallelujah. He's telling us uh, we're well able. We're going to overcome this thing. Uh, we're going to overcome. We're going to do it by the word of God. We're going to do it by the way of God. Speak faith. Turn your horse around. Turn that massive ship around. I don't care which way the wind's blowing. I don't care how hard the wind's blowing. Uh, turn 
turn that ship around. Uh, you've got power in your mouth uh, to speak in alignment with the living word of God. Uh, it is giving us guidance. Uh, it is giving us direction. Uh, it is telling us speak, uh, speak, uh, speak. Uh, we have the same spirit of faith they had in the Old Testament. They had throughout the days of the Bible. We've got the same spirit of faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. I'm going to read one last scripture. Revelation 12 and 10. Even Satan is overcome by our spoken words. It's not just the power of the blood of Jesus. We're going to read it. It's not just the power of the blood of Jesus that brings him down. It's your testimony. It's your testimony. It's you speaking in the midst of everything Satan's throwing at you. Let's read it together. Revelations 12 and 10. I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of the brethren is cast down. This is Satan. Which accused them before God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. But it didn't say period there. You didn't see it. It didn't just, okay, done deal. Here we go. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. It is well. Hallelujah. Will you pray for each other in your house? Come on. I want you just to find yourself at that place that we would call an altar, a special side, a place somewhere. Get in that place. If you've got your family, will you pray for one another? Start speaking the words of God. Speak the promises. Say it's well. It's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. We're well able to overcome this. We have the same spirit of faith. We believe and we also speak. Just as they did. They believed, they spoke. We believe, we speak. We're going to do this. Hallelujah. We're not speaking an evil report. Evil's not working in our spirit. We're speaking a good report. we got good news. We've got good words to say. We're saying this to you. Quit looking at the Goliath. Quit looking at the storm. Quit letting the noise and the wind and everything else shake you and let your ship be like something adrift out there just heading to be crashed on the rock somewhere. Hallelujah. I'm going to open my mouth. And I'm going to speak right now. We're turning my ship around. And we're in the same boat. We're going to do this together. In the Word of God, in the name of Jesus, we're proclaiming it is well. It is well. We're going to do this. We're going to overcome. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, speak it. Speak it. Fill your house with your words. Fill it. Speak it. Speak it to yourself. Speak it to your children. Speak it to your family. Hallelujah. It is well. We're going to live. We're not going to die. We're going to be all right. Oh, God, got a way for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, in the name of Jesus, come on, worship with me, worship with me, amen, don't turn this off right now, don't, don't bail out and start going and doing something else in the yard, right now, come on, worship with me, get into this place with us, get into this place, get into this faith I'm preaching about, that same spirit of faith, it's going to get us through this stuff, we're going to live, and we're going to continue, the kingdom of God's going to continue. The saints of God is going to continue in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the good report. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Your word, we live by it. We partake of it. We receive it. We're in alignment with it. We speak it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Nothing can separate Even if I ran away 
your love never fails. Come on. I know I still make mistakes. Tell it like it is. You never knew mercies for me every day. Your love never fails. I want my faith, not by sight. That's what, that's who we are. You stay the that's same what we're made of. Through the ages. We're created by God to do this. You're created by God. We are birthed in the kingdom of God. Maybe we are born again to walk in another place. In to live morning. in another place. To be overcomers in the name in of the Jesus. Whatever we got to face, God is going to help us. We're going to be all right. Be make it through it. In the name of Jesus. Just know that you love oh. me. Hallelujah. Your it is well. Never it is well. Hear that? Hear that? Yeah. Pain in my body. But what you listen to what I'm telling you. Wind is strong and it's the well. is deep. I shall live. I'm not alone. I will not in die. Open seas. I shall Your overcome. Love never in the name of fails. Jesus. I'm oh, going to be strengthened no. this very moment. Tonight. Tonight. Something. Come. Is oh, I'm rising up. I never I thought I'd rise. rise the other side. I'm Your rising love never in the name fails. of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I see the land. I see the promise of God. It's everything he said it is. Every promise is just love exactly how it said it is. I see it. Oh, praise God. Those giants are not as big as what you think they are. We're going to overcome those walls. They're not going to stop us. We're going to overcome. That drought in that land, that's not going to keep us. We're going to overcome. Overcome by the power of Your God. Love Get overcome by the strength fails. of God. I'm speaking in alignment with that central command station. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak. It is well. It is well. Oh, praise God. Praise you God. made all praise things God. work together the name for Jesus. my good. Hallelujah. Oh, you yes. made all things work together for Come my on, that's how you do it. That's how you pray. That's how you speak. You Hallelujah. Rise up. Defy. Defy good. what you're feeling. Defy the negative you stuff. Give your report. Give your good report. Together for Give my your good report. Good. Give your good news. You huh. Let me tell you. I'm in the hands of God. Come on. Hallelujah. We're going to continue. <laughs> Oh yeah, hallelujah. It's you not just going to be one victory. We're going to continue. We're going to keep going. God. We're going to keep on. In the help of God. In the power of God. In that eternal glory the of the angel. Almighty God. It is well. Your even when we have to go through that shadow of death. It is well. It is well. It is well. It is well. Hallelujah. My God is with me. He's rod. Stand. Comfort me. It is well. I know. I know. Goodness and mercy are going to be with me all the days of my life. Surely, goodness and mercy are going to be with me all the days of my life. God's with me. God's helping me. I have a shepherd. Oh, he takes care of me. He's going to lead me to the calm still waters. He's going to take me to the green pasture. He's going to anoint my head with oil. He's going to help me to prepare a table right in the midst of my enemies. Hallelujah. The Lord shall prepare a table in the midst of my enemies. A table. Oh, praise God. Oh, praise God. Lord, we receive it today. Your word is so good. Your word is so sweet. Lord, we chew on it. We chew on it, the goodness. We want to taste and see that the word of God is good. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Maybe you're not used to this worshiping the Lord freely with liberty just to wave your hand and open up your voice and let your voice just feel the atmosphere and fade with the word of God. 
but you need to do it. You need to do it. Break out of your shell. Get out of that reserved place. Come on. Hallelujah. Just let it happen. Oh, praise God. It is well. It is going to continue to be well. Oh, my God. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I, I encourage you to stay in that special place that the Lord has prepared for you where you just keep worshiping the Lord in liberty, freedom. Have yourself a time. Have yourself a time in the presence of God let that faith just explode in the presence of the Lord and the living water flow that flows from the throne of God. It'll flow through you and out of you. He said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. That's out of your mouth, out of your speaking, your testimony. It's life. Life is flowing. Life. You are speaking life as you are worshiping God and allowing Him just to lead you in your praise and worship. Continue praying. Be strengthened. Be renewed. Be refreshed in the Lord. This concludes our service. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Hi, this is Pastor Kevin Martin, and I just want to thank y'all for joining us today, tuning in and being a part of our service. We hope that it was a blessing to you and that you were uplifted and encouraged and felt the presence of the Lord. If you would like to know more about our church, please join us at www.atascacitaupc.com and you will find all of the ministries. You will find pictures where you could take a journey and see everything that's been going on at the Pentecostal Church of Atascacita. And uh, we hope that you join us again very soon. God bless you.